many of you have doubts regarding which calculator have to use and how to use so here we are making a video in which we will be introducing you with the calculator and how to use it hello everyone ifa tansopka here admin of musa in this video i will guide you which calculator is best for engineering and we will go through the essential functions and that every student should know so you can use your calculator effectively in maths and science classes okay this is casio fx 991 es plus second edition calculator which is easy and which is best for engineering students okay so now we will begin by getting familiar with the layout okay so simply one minute okay simply you can on the calculator by clicking on the on button while closing you have to click shift plus ac so your calculator is being closed here okay now going to the layout the number keys are present over here operation keys such as plus minus multiple add the division this all keys are present over here talking about special function keys such as square root squares square of any uh, numbers okay powers okay these are the trigonometric functions but uh, buttons over here next i will demonstrate you <coughs> how to perform basic calculations like addition subtraction multiplication and divisions such as we'll begin so for addition 5 plus 6 is is simply you have to click on equals to 1 minute 5 plus we'll first on the calculator 5 plus 6 equals to 11 same calculation 5 minus 6 will get answer same calculation with multiplication will get this answer same key. same with division will get this answer okay now i will show you some quick general shortcuts on the casio fx 991 es plus calculator this tricks will save you time and make problem solving much easier the first function is replay function suppose you have make a mistake in your last calculation instead of typing everything again for example we will take 5 plus 6 okay instead of typing 7 you have typed 6 and your answer is 11 means instead of 7 you have typed 6 so your answer is 11 right so for that we have this uh, click on this arrow button change the number to 7 and click your answer is right over here okay by clicking up or down arrows the calculator will bring bring back your previous calculations you can edit them and recalculate instantly okay next function is fraction and decimal often you we need to switch between fraction and decimal answers simply press this key for example if you calculate 5 divided by 8 you get this answer right just press this button you will get the answer in decimal form okay now next key is the calculate answer key it's about the answer key the calculator automatically saves your last answer as answer to use it in your next calculation just press the answer key for example your last answer is 0.625 and this answer you have to use it in the other calculation also simply press simply you have to press plus one minute okay simply 25 plus 25 sorry 552 will get an answer 77 and you have to use this 77 answer in your next calculation simply what you have to do is simply press this simply press this answer key plus 5 you will get the answer as 82 okay it's all about the using how you use the answer key in your next calculations next is 
Now we'll come to second, third, fourth word. After completing a long expression, if you want to add or change something, for example, we take this long expression. Okay, if you have something, if you type wrong or something, you have to need to change. Just you know, just to click this arrow buttons, change it, and your answer will give you as per your changes. Okay, so don't clear it all. It use the arrow keys to move the cursor and insert numbers or operations exactly where you want. Okay, and that's it. These are the general shortcuts, which is replay, fun fraction, decimal, toggle, answer key, and quick editing function. Mastering just these four will speed up your calculations and reduce errors. Okay, now let's move on to some math trick. Okay. For is you squaring a number, for example, you have to square this number. Just use this, okay, and your answer will give you. Okay, will an the answer will display you here. Okay, for cubes or higher powers, use the power key. For example, by pressing this, I want to just keep it as a 589 raised to 15 so just click it one minute okay just 589 just you have to uh, type the powers more than square greater than square number just type this function and you can type any number it's raised to 89 which give you answer like this but it's not like what you need okay for example, 589 is not a big number, just 15, le le, right? You will answer de dega. For example, you will not have anything in this, you will get answer in decimal. Mein okay? Now, second one is to find the square roots. Okay, use the key, square key. Okay, for example, you have to find this square. One minute, okay. You just have to find square root of any number. Just type this button, and you type this. You will get the answer as six. Okay. For cube roots, for cube roots, for example, cube roots. For cube roots, type this, and type this. You will get this. Thirty-six ka cube root is three. This way, you will get the square numbers. Or for cubes or higher powers or for square roots, you have to just uh, press this all keys which I have shown here. Okay, factorials are easy. Just enter the number and press shift plus. For example, you need to find 65. Now you have to find factorial of 65. Just shift press shift button and this and you will get the factorial of 65 number like this okay okay now next is trigonometric shortcuts okay to switch between degrees and radians pressed shift plus mode setup and press 3 for degree and press 4 for radian as per your need okay for inverse trigonometric functions like sine inverse, cos inverse, just press shift. Cos inverse is there. Just press shift to tan. You have will get you will get tan inverse function. Okay, like this, you will get trigonometric functions as well as inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, so that's it. That's all about the tricks and some functions about maths. Okay, these are the most useful shortcut tricks for the Casio FX991 ES Plus calculator. If you master this, you will be solving problems faster and more efficiently. So, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like and share this video.